She's qualifying herself for you. But what you donnies do, you date her three, four months, you, you get pussy whipped. Instead of dropping the dick and her getting dickmatized, you get pussy whipped. You give her the contract, bro. And then what happens? The bad behavior starts. You start transitioning to beta. You start acting vaginal and you start letting down the brand. Hard to tell if your ex is gone forever. Don't worry, bro. I got you in this video, man. Make sure to support me. Drop an emoji. Drop a like. Drop a comment. It helps the channel grow. If you're new, my name's Oli, aka The Meister. I talk real authentic game. On this playlist, I talk exes only, the X files How to get them back, why you lost them. Is she gone forever? That's what I'm going to talk about in today's video. Let's get into it, man. All right, boys. So you need to understand the first thing is we need to take into consideration the time frame. Is this a fresh break up? How long have you not spoken for? Have you gone through the no contact phase, which is 30 days no contact? No text messaging, no phone calls, no Snapchat, no watching her stories, nothing. You drop ice cold game on her. Question is, how good are you? Can you give yourself 30 days no contact? Now, after 30 days, is she calling you? Is she spamming you? Or is she being stubborn? Yes or no? If she's being stubborn, bro, bro, then she might be going. If she's spamming you, which is the majority of the time, I miss you, why are you not contacting me? She's blowing up your line bro this is a good sign that she's seeking your attention and seeking your validation and potentially wants you to do something about making contact with her and potentially getting back together two three months bro of no contact from her bro she's probably gone the replacement's in the game now and you're probably out of the door however if it's about seven to nine ten months bro and then you're trying to get her back, bro. Then you have to weigh up the other element of how long were you guys actually together? Were you like three years, four years plus, two years plus in a relationship? Or were you just six months? Remember, I tell you guys, bro, you shouldn't be giving females contracts unless you've dated her for nine to 12 months. And then you go exclusive. In that nine to 12 months, bro, you should have been dating other girls as well. So you still think abundantly and during this process of abundance, she's qualifying herself for you. But what you donnies do, you date her three, four months, you, you get pussy whipped. Instead of dropping the dick and her getting dickmatized, you get pussy whipped. You give her the contract, bro. And then what happens? The bad behavior starts. You start transitioning to beta. You start acting vaginal and you start letting down the brand. The next element that you must understand is... Is she upset or is she angry? I made the video of the 16 stages of a breakup, bro. Where is she along this, this spectrum? Is she angry or is she upset? Remember, there's a limited window of opportunity. When she's upset, bro, this is a great sign. When she's angry, then she's going to be a bit combative. Now, I tell you guys all the time, any emotion towards you is fantastic. That means she's still cares that means she's still leaving the door open it's when she doesn't care when she doesn't reply when she's giving you nothing to work with bro then this bitch is gone bro she is done out here she's done she's finished the next sign bro is she giving you mixed signals is she demonstrating to you that she's struggling i'm talking is she crying bro is she is she facetiming you and she's sending vi or she's sending videos and she's crying bro she's struggling she's not eating she's looking sick these are clear signs that she's struggling, bro. That transition is... And I get it, bro. No judgment. I, too, have been there once upon a time, bro. I, I've been there, bro. She was the love of my life. Thought I was going to marry her. Then what happened? I've made the breakup story, bro. Do not sell yourself a dream. Never get into a situation where you fear to lose her. Where you fear of getting rid of her. You learn from these breakups, man. They make you stronger. Anyway, back to the video. Number five. This is the self-reflection role. Have you addressed the issues that you have in your game? Remember, we attract them because of us and we lose them because of us. It's got nothing to do with the girl. Game is about you, the man. You loving yourself 100% of the time. Remember, game is the ability to attract and keep a woman authentically. No games, no gimmicks, no lies. 
But at some point, bro, you stop playing your role properly. Remember, she makes mistakes because you allow her to make mistakes. A woman can only do what you allow her to do. If you dominate everything, then she's not going to have any leg to stand on and play, bro. You win every round. You jab, jab. You can box on the back foot, bro. You do what you need to do. Parry, parry. But she doesn't win anything. When you start taking it easy, you start resting in between rounds, bro. Then the judges are going to give her some points. Of course they are. Think about it. Tell you some of the mistakes you donnies are making. These are the common mistakes that you're making, bro. Number one, you don't hold out on no contact. So when you're going through a breakup, you don't maximize no contact. No contact. 30 days. Can you be selfish for 30 days? If you can't do this, bro, you are limiting your chances of getting back with your ex. The second massive mistake you donnies are making, you continuously nag her, you continuously blame her for things. You cannot act any type of feminine when you are trying to get back with your ex. Regardless if it was her fault, bro, forget about it. Let it go. Let that die in the past. If you want to take two, bro, you need to keep all the positives in her mind. All the negative, bro, and any blaming of any sort, bro, is vaginal. And you're letting down the brand. You don't need to keep making it, bro. You keep apologizing. I've said it now. I'll continue to say it. When you make a mistake, bro, apologize once. She either accepts it or she declines the apology. What you should not and you should never do again is keep saying sorry and sorry and sorry. And then you start begging. Bro, all you're doing is lowering your value. You're simping, you're chasing, bro. And you're just making it easy for her. And you're just acknowledging and you're just confirming to her that she shouldn't be with you. The thing that you must understand in, in order to know whether she's coming back or not, bro, is has your ex moved on? Is she seen somebody else? Now remember, if the transition is smooth, that's because the other Donnie was already there. He was already there. He was already there. Don't think anything otherwise. She didn't just match with him on Tinder. It, it, obviously, there's a small percentage that that could happen. But, bro, if the transition is smooth, it's because the other Donnie was always there. He was an orbiter. Remember, the orbiter is the most dangerous player in this game. The orbiter was dangerous. The orbiter can take your girl. Last but not least, bro, do you really want her back? Is it an ego thing? Or do you actually think that you guys are going to work? I get it, bro. You loved her. You was in love. But ultimately, bro, if it didn't work the first time, why do you think take two is going to work? Remember, no judgment, bro. I'm here to help you. If you want coaching, DM me on Instagram. Um, drop me an email. I'm ready when you're ready. Good luck, man. See you guys in the next one. Check out the books in the description. Peace.